Hello Zebrahood and welcome back to Runner 3. And today, we're gonna be moving on to the second world in the game, Spooky Land. Of course, in the previous episode, we started our adventure with Food Land, completed it, completed it early saw the main levels. Now we're gonna be doing the same for World Spooky 2. Land. I hope everything goes well. Hopefully I'm not too spooked by it. I think I'm gonna be more spooked by the difficulty than I will be of the scariness. But it's spooked nonetheless, so. I mean, World 1 got pretty difficult pretty quickly. <laughs> map! Yeah, this is the map, all right. 2-1. Hey, Hazelman's? Hazelman? I suppose so, I don't know what that's supposed to mean. But yeah, everything is spooky. I just like how it's all nonchalant. It's like, okay, you were at Food Lab, now you're here! There's no kind of like, I guess, any kind of story that tells you why you, you got here, of all places. But hey, that's not my problem. My problem is to jump, slide, kick, and pick up gold as much as I can. Okay, so let's give it a shot. I like the moon. Is the moon gonna be in every level? Cause that's what I want. Oh yeah, that's right, we have the double jump now. That's just gonna be an active thing, isn't it? Oh my gosh, we just barely made that jump. Whoa, duck under that. Okay, this seems like an interesting level so far. Uh, do I have to kick? No, okay, I didn't see that little opening under the, the, the block. I just saw a block in my way, so I got a little nervous. Uh, <laughs> and then there's like the very crazy tide going on. There we go, we made that jump a little bit better that time. Duck under the Neversoft eye. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, that was pretty good. Come on, come on. It looks like the eye from the, the, the people who make Tawny Hawk Pro Skater games, like they have like a little eye as like their, I guess like their character mascot or whatever. That looks exactly like that, so that's what I mean. Anyways, uh, this moon's all like, man, you're not playing very well, but I'll, I'll cheer you on. Keep going, little dude. I just like how there's there's a moon that like has a mouth and eyeball, so he can just like look on in the entire world and just cheer everybody on like, you're having a rough time, but I understand, you're doing great. Okay, there we go, there we go. Whoa, there we go. Whoa, okay, we made it. That's the farthest we've gone so far. I think, I can't remember. Yeah, I think it is. I'm trying to be careful, no it's not. Oh, that is so weird. I guess I gotta go under him. Such a tight little set of jumps there. <laughs> Oh my gosh. We're gonna spend forever on the first level, aren't we? Oh, we're gonna spend forever on every level. And then we got this giant Kraken in the background. Got it. Okay, we're doing pretty decent. Just gotta keep moving. Got it, duck under that, jump over, kick. I wonder if I could just, oh no. I wonder if I could just double jump over the kick sections. I'm sure if I really tried I could, but it's not really to my benefit and it would be much more difficult and risky. And I'm already having a hard enough time as it is. I'm still a little on the fence about the double jump. I don't know if it's really necessary for a game like this. I just feel like it adds, I mean it adds difficulty, which is great, but I feel like it adds almost an uncertainty to every jump. I don't know though. Maybe that's just me complaining. Okay, so we've made that before. That's not really the problem. It was this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're making it. Whoa, this guy, he just flails about. Sometimes I am double jumping just to be safe, and that's sort of the thing I don't like about it. Wait, no, no, why'd I take that bounce pad? I didn't need to. Oh man, that stinks. Maybe I really should just, you know, totally let myself loose and just totally just not care about the gold bricks. Maybe that's something that'll make this a little bit easier for me, is that if I just like, okay, I don't care if I get one gold brick or 60, uh, or 100. <laughs> I don't know why, but for a second I thought there was only 60 gold bricks to level, but that's not the case. Okay, that's pretty good. Got it. Can jump like that, kick like that, go wonder. Then I need to double jump there, and then we need to jump over you. I'm pretty sure we need to double jump. But I know what's coming up, so this should be not so bad. It's just, is it actually possible to go under you? I suppose it is. What in the world was that thing? Okay, we made it. What in the world, Kraken, come on, buddy! What was that for? <laughs> How was I supposed to know? <laughs> come on, we were almost there too. Ah, oh, what a stinker. Look at him, I thought he was gonna be friendly. He's like, oh hey, look at this guy. No, he just wants to wait. Wait for the perfect time to give me a smack. Cause he's a jerk. The moon wanna do that to me, look at the moon. He's just amazing and wholesome and I love him. I thought there might have been some levels on the moon in the last game, I can't remember though. Maybe it was just in space. He just looks so concerned, concerned at times and then he just gets happy again. 
Okay, don't get too distracted by the moon now. We gotta actually survive this level. I'm getting more and more farther on average, which is pretty good, but that's sort of to be expected. I mean, I don't wanna say that and then mess up, because then I'll feel silly. Okay. So I wanna stay under, and then jump over, go under. Okay. Okay, oh my gosh. There were some guys popping up in the background lane there for a moment, it was getting rather confusing. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that, I thought that was another enemy. Oh gosh, I just jumped over the checkpoint, which means it doesn't count. Okay, well we're doing this all in one go now, right? That's what's gonna happen. I didn't mean to do that, that was a genuine, just like an oh no reaction, I think I just missed a piece of gold. What do we got? Okay, it's a soda can, we're gonna go. <laughs> This thing was really shaken up then. I missed more gold. I don't care. I don't care. I just want to be able to get to the end without having to redo this whole thing. I mean, following the gold will be helpful to an extent. Maybe not, though. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, how much more is left? Okay, now they're alternating. This is pretty cool looking when I can actually take a second to, like, admire it. But in the meantime, I just want to cry. What? No! How was I supposed to know? <laughs> I gotta do it all again. There we go, okay, I got my checkpoint this time. I don't make things much easier. Now I can sort of, ah, go back to worrying about picking up gold if I want. Just because it's in the way anyways. Might as well just try for it. I mean, it does benefit me if we do wanna go for 100%, I don't have to get it later, right? I mean, I actually don't know how that works. I think that maybe if even you miss one gold, you need to have a run where you get all of it. I think that might be how it works, so I guess it really doesn't matter. Um. Okay, well, yeah, that one's a tough one right there. So anytime I miss it, I'm just gonna stop caring about the gold for the most part. I, I'm gonna follow the gold here because it honestly sort of leads you on to where to dodge these guys for the most part, except for sometimes. Okay, so I sort of understand this one. Got that. So this is where they sort of, uh, Okay, we're doing all right, we're doing all right. So this is where they start squishing together. But when the last one where there is no gold, yep, they do that. That shenanigans. Okay, move down. And then, oh, oh. What is with these gross dudes? I don't know. And we got everything except for the like, two of them? Man, that's a pain in the booty. But we did it, we, did, we completed the level. And sometimes that's all I care about. Okay, so, awesome stuff. There is two one completed. It gave me some crazy moments there, but overall pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna guess there's gonna be like another set of 10 levels to complete, so that's gonna be splendid. But we're starting, or we're continuing with 2-2. Two, two. I'll just let him say A it. A frothy pit. A frothy pit. Okay, cool. But yeah, we haven't checked out those bonus levels yet. I figure that we're just, in, I'm just gonna enjoy the main game for now. Um, I know those levels are gonna be more difficult, so I just wanna save it for later. If we really wanna see it, I can always go back. So I'm not worried about it. I just sort of wanna see the, you know, the end of the game. I wanna see the boss fights. That's sort of the coolest thing to me. Uh, if we could get to the end and see the credit, or not the credits, but like the ending sequence, I'm sure there will be something that'd be fun. Uh, well, let's get to it. This area actually is pretty cool looking. So I'm guessing it's supposed to be like some, you know, gross factory location. All right, well, can't get that one just yet. I mean, I could've, but it wouldn't have been a very good idea. Yeah, we made it. Pretty good, pretty good. Go under, yeah, gosh darn it. I was saying under, and I didn't do it. These gross worm things, though. I don't like those. Okay, there we go. Pretty good, pretty good. Got it. Okay. This floaty jump you gotta do there is a little ridiculous. Duck into that guy, jump over this one. I don't trust these dudes. I don't know what it is. I just always feel the need to double jump over them. Okay, whoa, he's just flipping about. And I got really confused about what I was supposed to do there. Was I supposed to jump over him? I guess double jump. Because it feels like double jump, sometimes like I'm double jumping over situations where maybe I could do something else to survive it. And that might just mean, you know, there's more than one option on how to complete it. But sometimes it feels like I'm cheating. That's sort of weird. But hey, if it helps, it helps, right? I'll take anything I can get at the moment. Okay, got that. These four are easy. Oh, what is wrong with me? I don't know why I tried to slam down there. Come on, Commander Video, you can do it. I believe in you. Okay, we did pretty good there. Grab all of that. 
And, uh, got it. Nice. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that should be pretty good, pretty good. Kick that wall down, duck under this guy, get the gold bar and keep going. Okay, <laughs> still trying to talk to the rhythm of the music. Hey, there's this guy. He's a dude in a box. Okay, land on top of him that time. Whoa, whoa, we're done for. Gosh darn, I messed up that double jump. Oh, that's just a stinky spot for it. Okay, there we go, that was much better. Kick that wall down. Oh, oh, I'm supposed to double jump all over that stump. Well, it was sort of hard to tell. <laughs> That's why you just gotta always double jump. You know, you never know. I mean, most normal enemies are a single jump. Unless it's like very specific. Man, is that a pain in the butt or what? I'm just gonna try it again. Come on, come on. Got it? Oh yeah, okay. This area is really cool though, so far. It's a lot different from the first one as well, which was like, you know, on the docks at an ocean. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's not cool though. Okay, over the stump, perfect. And then use the springboard, sure, why not? Okay, kick. Whoa, that was weird, that was really tough. We gotta be coming up on a checkpoint soon, right? Okay, somehow did that. Whoa, that, whoa, no, I definitely kicked. I pressed the kick button. What other button's gonna kick except for the kick button? Can you not be, you know, you can be in the middle of a double jumping kick. Oh, that's so tough. I had a feeling we were coming up on the checkpoint too. That's a tough section right there. It ain't easy. Okay, well, I'm gonna try again. And hopefully nothing bad will happen this time. It is like, this is one of the most satisfying games to get everything right on though. It's just, it ain't easy to get everything right. And that's probably why it's so satisfying, you know? That's why I love the first one so much. I don't like it, once again, I didn't dislike the second one. I just, I really liked the first one so much. Ah, I was disappointed to see that the second one was different. And different isn't bad. It's just, I, I just really like the first one. <laughs> and this one's great too. Like, I'm loving this one so far. It's just also difficult. <laughs> really difficult. Okay, that time it worked. It was a little weird. I think that if you go under there, it just doesn't work properly. Because I tried it a couple times. Well, I mean, I get to try it again here. Oh gosh, it didn't even look like I'd go under that guy, but I guess I just barely could. Oh, this angle's weird. I don't like it. That was a weird angle. Um, Go under these guys. Oh, why'd I do that? Why'd I do that? Why did I do that? All the way back to the beginning. No, no. I don't know if I've gotten this far. Yes, I have. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna keep moving. I honestly don't remember too much more past this, so I'm gonna assume that that, yep, that's a checkpoint right there. So we've gotten every gold piece so far. You know, I'm not really too worried about getting them all. Okay. So one thing that does make the game a little bit more difficult is the double jump in a way. Um, one thing this series does a lot is like sort of staircase jumps. Not those kind, but like thinner, where it's like, you know, one singular jump over and over again. But those are easily messed up with they were earlier in the level. If you have a double jump, because I'm just trying to time those jumps, but then I accidentally double jump and totally mess up the whole flow of it. And that can be a little complicated. What do I do here? Uh, nothing. Okay, well, I'm glad I didn't do nothing then. Whoa, whoa, we move faster. Oh, that is bizarre. I was not ready for that at all. I am so glad we had a checkpoint. So glad they gave us a checkpoint before they tossed something like that at us. Okay, so yes, World 2 has not let up yet. It has been very difficult all the way through, unlike some of the other uh, World 1 levels, at least at the start. Like, it would be a little lenient, but like, okay, you know what? This level is easy enough to get done on the first try. <laughs> what was that, 1-3 that we did on the first try? Good times, good times. Okay, got it. These guys are like evil, wacky, inflatable, arm flailing two men. But they're evil. <laughs> they're like, oh, I want to eat brains, I'm a zombie. And there's a creepy tree with the eyeballs. I keep on forgetting I have a double jump there. That's silly of me. It's a cool world for sure. I mean, usually you don't tell us, you know, like most platformers don't have like a spooky world as roll two. That's pretty cool that, you know, that's what it is here. I can jump over that, jump over this. One big jump right there. Kick that down. Okay, so we're doing awesome right now. I just need to keep moving now. Because we've gone this far before. This angle's weird, because I just have no idea where the character's gonna go. So we've made all this. Yeah, it's the super speed section I'm a little worried about at the moment. So this will break 80 gold. Okay, yeah, that is so bizarre. I'm trying to follow the gold, but it's sort of hard because the gold could be hit with a double jump and a single jump, so it's like, which one do you want me to do? And that's sort of the weird part about that as well. Like, I like the double jump at times, but I feel like also the double jump sort of messes with the flow that the game has had for the, the entire series so far. 
And it's both a good thing and just sort of like a weird thing that's gonna take me a long time to get used to, if ever. I don't know. It's just like a lot of situations like that. It's like, oh, am I supposed to single jump here or double jump? It's hard to tell. There's some jump jumps like that where it's clear that I have to double because I can't make it otherwise. Okay, so for this, I'm gonna... Okay, that was pretty good. No, and I'm supposed to double jump for that one. But I've never had this super speed situation before, so how am I supposed to know? I guess just by trial and error, which makes it real difficult because, you know, it's pretty far from the checkpoint. I like how of all the spooky stuff, one thing we're dodging is just, you know, a whole bunch of uh, wooden crates, just for no reason, just like somebody had a forklift out here. They were doing mild construction. Like, hey, even if it's a spooky town, we still got quotas to meet, come on, get back to work. There we go. Come on, we're getting it this time without an issue. No issues involved. Yeah, it's just a forklift. Like maybe if at some point they were making like a construction level and they just gave up but they reused that. Can I not forget to use the double jump there, please? Thank you. Whoa, okay, we're being launched now. I don't know where. I, we might still have super speed. I suppose we do until we lose or leave that. And we still had super speed for a little bit of time there. Like after we left it, I think. Whoa, come on, I was trying to, gosh darn it. <laughs> Oh well, I don't really know what the rockets do. They don't seem to really do too much, but we got all the gold apparently. Awesome, yeah, bullseye. So yeah, there we go, there's that done. <laughs> I'm done with all that. So, awesome stuff, we got level two done, we got all the gold pieces, and uh, we're gonna do one, or two, three now. Did I say one, one, two? Maybe it was two, two, there we go. Okay, so two, three. The gibbering cliff. What he said, let's go. So yeah, we never found that VHS, VHS tape that was cried for the first level. You can see that we also just unlocked that as well uh, for this world, is that there's like a VHS tape level. I don't know what that's about. Maybe if we completed all the other levels, we'd get a VHS tape or something. There's tons to do. It's a big game for sure, but I don't know if I'm always entirely interested. Okay, so I, I gotta start getting through these levels a little bit quicker. I gotta be honest, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I wanted to have a floatier downward jump. So let me try that again. All I need to do is jump like that. Perfect, okay. So I'll go for some of these gold pieces because usually the gold pieces sort of lead you where you're supposed to go. That can sometimes be markers like, okay, you're supposed to go through the level like that. But sometimes, of course, they are a bit risky to pick up. But like there, like I didn't really see that worm all too much, but I did see the gold piece. So I knew that I was probably supposed to jump there. Okay, oh boy. That was pretty good. <laughs> if I could just get to the checkpoint on the first try, that'd save me so much time. Especially since we're this far out already. Launch me up, bring me back down, kick, duck. All right, all right, we're doing pretty good. Whoa, boy. Okay, kick, good, good, good. Whoa, what, oh, we're going left. I don't like it, I never like it. Okay, so if I double jump there, I could have gotten something more. I don't care, we got a checkpoint. We got a checkpoint. <laughs> we could have gotten the puppet for the level, but I don't care. Hi, Cactus. Cyclops Cactus. Cy Cyctus? I don't know, there's probably some kind of funny pun there that I'm missing. Uh, okay, duck under that. Oh boy. Okay, we're doing all right. And there's another one, another Cyclops Cactus. Oh, this is such a crazy level. No, I can't believe I got hit there. That was baloney. Luckily, it's not too far back because we got that checkpoint on the first try. Thank you, game. I feel like I'm getting a little bit better for today. You know, I've, I've had to warm up a little bit. I haven't played since yesterday. Okay, there we go. Kick it. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh. All right, so we're doing pretty good. It's here, yeah, that's where I messed up before. So first time over to here. And there's more construction. <laughs> that's sort of the weird part of, the, of this whole area. Okay, that was pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Okay. Yeah, this little staircase right here, those kind of things are tougher with a double jump. Which is weird, because those kind of staircase kind of platforms have been in the series since the original. So it's like, why are they so much more difficult now? I mean, I guess if I use the slam, which is also another new thing, I guess it sort of like fixes it, but it's just like tough to do that. It just adds more inputs. We did it! Wait, I missed a piece, seriously? Where was the one gold piece I missed? 
No! I don't care. We're in. We're out. We did that level in like three minutes. I did the other level in like 20 minutes. That is weird. But that was actually a bit more of a fun level. Maybe because I didn't have to get stuck on it for so long. But I'll take it. So what do we got now? 2-4? That sounds creepy. Well, it is spooky town or whatever. The spooky world, spooky island, something like that. You know. Um... So let's try to be careful. It said, the, the loading screen said, don't touch those bats, they're useless when you're dodging or something, I don't know. Don't know what that's supposed to mean, what bats? Okay, you can get 25 gems on something. I don't know. <laughs> on every level, probably, because that's true. Okay, so, let's try this out. Uh, this level sort of looks to be out more of the same. I keep on seeing these ledges that I think that I can just normal jump on, but I need to double jump, I'm just being silly. Okay. Jump over that, go like that, good, good. Oh gosh, <laughs> that was not how I was supposed to do that one. Cause sometimes you wanna do really long double jumps and sometimes you wanna do some shorter ones. It can be hard to really know what to do when. Okay, so I long jump, long jump, and I missed it. Well, that's fine. I'm not gonna care about it much right now. But there's gonna be a bit more difficult level than it was last time, at least to get everything, because you can tell we're already missing stuff. That's okay. Yeah, this is another situation. It could have been easy to mess up. Did I get that gold piece? I have no clue. Um, it could have been easy to mess up just because activating the double jump. This area definitely is creepy and spooky and scary. No skeletons though. Whoop. Okay, hold on. I don't like this anymore. I didn't like it from the beginning, but ah, oh, come on. That was a double jump section. Uh, I get to try again. Yeah, this one has like a lot of motion to it, like. The camera's moving all over the place in that one section, and then you have all these things in the background moving. There we go, I got that that time. Maybe I can get all 100, instead of 99 of them. Oh, that stinks. Because like I said, I'm pretty sure that if you don't get 100 of them, you, you have to recomplete the level with all 100 of them. You can't just go back and get the one you missed. Like, that won't really work. So I think that's total baloney. Because it's practically like, if I wanted to get 100%, it's practically like I didn't even complete that level. But I don't think I want to get 100%. Ooh, let's slam down so I can get over this worm. And I missed a gold piece, darn it, monster in a box. You really are a pain in the butt. Okay, so I'm supposed to jump out of it like that, yes, okay. And the checkpoint was right there, that took me a while to get back to. I've missed so much gold, but at the same time, I'm not really caring anymore. There were some angles there that made it so like, it's basically, yeah, like that right there, that's, that's called maximum baloney. How am I supposed to know that's there? Like it's just, Oh, it's not there, okay, now it's in front of you. There's something like, I, I, I appreciate that they've gone a little, you know, different with the camera angles, but there are times where it's just sort of objectively like, I don't know if that was a good idea to put the camera like that, because I can't see where I'm going. Uh, okay, yeah, the thing is about those, you can kick them, but you can't land on them, and it makes for a weird situation with them. If there's some things I like a lot, some of this stuff, though, I'm like, uh, I don't know, I don't know one bit. Okay, kick that, go under here, Jump over. Okay, so it seems smarter and safer to do that, and then kick that, go under here. Okay, got it. We gotta be getting close to the end soon, I would hope. Okay, I don't know if that was a good idea or not. Uh, I'm gonna say it wasn't. Okay, come on, come on, and get that. I got extra now, which is pretty cool. Oh no, we got super speed. Oh, is that it? Okay, cool, I'll take it. Oh gosh. One thing I don't also like is that when you kick these things, their pieces fly towards the camera and sort of hide Commander Video for a second. So it can be hard to tell where he is and what he's doing. I mean, I feel like I'm like criticizing the game a lot, but these are issues that I feel like are a problem in some sorts. Um, there we go, so we got that one done. It was The name was Jim, of the little puppet we got, a little uh, stick figure thing. Okay, so. Yeah, there's that level done. That one was a little bit more difficult. Definitely didn't get on the first try. Two, five. I have no idea what that means, but we're gonna find out together. <laughs> Hopefully this one isn't too bad, because I really gotta start making my way through these levels a bit more quickly. I'm gonna go like flat out avoid gold. Just take the easiest route possible and see how things go. Maybe that'll be easier for me. Jump over the checkpoint for extra points. I would rather not. Points don't matter much to me, I gotta be honest. You can switch paths by using the shoulder buttons. Yep, we know about that one. Okay, um, 
And this one's cool, there's like trucks everywhere. Okay, but I, I, I so naturally want to get the gold pieces because they're so satisfying to get, and it sort of helps me figure out what's coming up next. I mean, I probably shouldn't have gotten that one. But, oh, it has the Donkey Kong style thing. So, like, if you fall off a platform, that doesn't count as a jump. You have a second to, like, make your jump, and then you still have your double jump on top of that. So, yeah. Interesting. What is with that creepy guy in the background? He's huge. I mean, I can't be too distracted about it for now. It was like a giant Hollywood sign. Okay, yeah, I can jump lanes here. Yeah, he's just hanging out up there like, hey, guys. Okay, yes, yeah, the spooky land. Cool. Okay, this one's very confusing. I'm so glad I'm not getting all the gold in this one. Oh, is this, oh yeah, it's another uh, soda can thing. Come on, got it. I'm just gonna follow the gold because it, it will roughly tell me where I'm supposed to be headed. Especially with this camera angle that's tilted towards me, the player. Once again, it's hard to tell what's gonna come up. And then it turns. I don't know when it's gonna turn, but it definitely turns. Uh, oh, I gotta go under. Okay. Got it. Okay, so we're in Ultra now, and here's the checkpoint. Don't jump over it, thank you. Okay, so we made that pretty easily. Uh, I'm just staying over here. We're still super speed right now. Okay. Oh my gosh. So that's where following the gold is really helpful. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Awesome, thank you. Kick, jump, we're out extra. Uh, what in the world do I do against you? I guess I duck. Okay, uh, no, I don't, I gotta kick that one. Interesting, we got ourselves a little fight here with an angry robot. <laughs> okay, I guessed it first the first time, the second time I guess I gotta kick. Oh, that's, yep, yeah, that's a problem. Oh, hey, I got a thing out of it. Didn't even see that down there. <laughs> okay, come on, ready? Got it, got it. There's like a whole circle, a circus behind us too, which is pretty cool. Oh, okay, I messed it up this time. I couldn't care less as long as I know how to get through. So duck under him the first time, kick him the second. And then for the third time, I'm gonna assume we have to jump over him. So for right now, just duck. Got it. And then kick. Oh, was that enough to take him out? Okay, it was. Oh, come on, we moved so quickly. How am I supposed to know? Oh, it's so difficult. Oh, man. But yeah, I don't know how many worlds are in this game. I mean, to me, if we look on the, you know, like the overworld map, right? Uh, there's like another world that was covered in fog, so I can only imagine maybe there's only three. I mean, how much was this game? This game was actually pretty expensive, like $40, I think. But at the same time, you know, these worlds have a lot more levels I haven't tackled, and then also they have more content within them, you know? There's more things to complete, so I think it's a fine price for the game. It's really fun, it has a lot of stuff to it. Um, oh gosh. There we go, we get the extra. So I'm gonna go ahead and duck under you, sir. Thank you. And then kick you, and then you're taken out. So I gotta jump over that. Whoa, come on! I thought I was gonna land on top of it, but I moved too quick to know. Okay, so I'm doing all right. Kick that. Oh gosh, oh, never mind. Not doing great. I heard like a sword being pulled out though. So maybe we're about to run into him again. I am not sure. Okay, so jump, jump. Jump and jump and okay, don't mess that up. So this part's easy. There's like no opposition for this uh, soda can ride. It's just getting the gold pieces if you want to, which I might as well. You know, makes more practice for the soda can or the flying section. I mean, all the flying sections are the same. I do like that though. You know, the, like the special little quirks to the game, like the. Uh, you know, the flying sections and probably the driving sections are world specific. So before it was like made, oh, really? That's just upsetting. Um, before it was like a little eggplant, like mobile. This time it's just a soda can. I mean, I don't know why it's different, but like it is maybe different everyone. Maybe the soda can was in the last one as well. I can't remember, but it's the same thing. So I want to think it is. I mean, yeah. So I think that's pretty cool though. If there's like a different vehicle for every world, it does make every world exciting to go to because you get to see new stuff. And sometimes that's all you need. You don't really need you no know, crazy unlockables. You just need to see some cool new stuff. Okay, so this time, we've got it down pat, right? Maybe. I'm gonna try to play it safe, but you can't because it's almost impossible to tell if there's a, a block I can duck under coming up or not. Ugh. There we go. Okay, wow, come on! I didn't even see you! Oh, that's the worst. Okay, so he's gonna 
poke his sword out like a jerk, and that's when I jump over him. I thought I took him out, I thought he was gone for good. I should've stuck with my original assumption, which was that I was gonna have to jump over him next, but even then I wasn't gonna be ready for him. He popped up so quickly. Okay, come on, come on. I do see that roller coaster in the background, that's pretty cool. I don't know if anybody was on it though, or if it was more like a ghost roller coaster. Long since shut down, but forever running. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna duck under that stuff. Wow, come on, I was jumping, but then I accidentally pressed the kick button, everything's awful. There we go, get out of here. Okay, he's got something else, kick him. Okay, hopefully he's out of my hair for a little bit. Or forever, awesome. Yeah, we did it, we did it, we did it. Okay, that was ridiculous. But I'll take what I got. Okay, so that's what, two, four done? Man, there's still so much more to go, it's insane. I mean, I don't know if I wanna start just, you know, cutting it halfway and we could do like two parts for a world or something, but that was two five completions. So maybe we could keep going. We got two six. The wording way. Yeah, and like the letters in the background that spell map, because you're on the map. Okay, so I don't know what this is gonna be, or what's gonna make it spooky. Maybe it'll spook out, or it will spell out spooky things that will spook you out. Something like that might work, or not. I don't know. <sighs> okay. New items become available to shop as you continue. I don't know what that said. Uh, but yeah, let's try this one out. More of those spooky trees. Okay. Just gotta be careful. So far, I'm appreciating how much slower this is, comparatively. I mean, it might not stay that way. What does that say? Rival? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I think it's just a bunch of random letters, to be honest with you. Okay. Oh, get all that gold. Oh no, I missed the, the jukebox. Oh well, because I keep on getting distracted by the letters in the background and what they spell. I think it's just all gibberish words, though. Okay, there we go. Come on, got it. We're doing pretty good. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, okay, there was a little bonus thing there that I don't care too much about. But yeah, all the jukeboxes do is boost your like musical thing, and that just ups your score a little bit. Come on, I was trying to jump, but I couldn't get back to the ground fast enough because I'm a dingus. Oh, that's tough. Now let's try that again. Try to get as far as we can. If we could just get to the checkpoint, that's all I want. Got it. Okay, yeah, these are all gibberish words, which is actually pretty funny. It's just a whole bunch of letters everywhere for no reason. Got that. That is definitely just extra points. It doesn't do anything. That time I got it. It does, I feel like it adds a little bit, like, the jukeboxes do sort of make the music come out a little bit more, which makes it easier to sort of hear it, and once again, hearing the audio and cues in this game can be helpful to sort of get you a good rhythm or idea about what's coming up. It is sort of like a rhythm game in that way. So sometimes the jukeboxes can actually help you in it, to an extent. Okay, so I, I don't know if I can even get that. Okay, got it. I think this is about the farthest we got. Like, we're coming up on it. Got it, and there's our checkpoint. Kick that thing. <laughs> Kicking it doesn't do anything except for make me feel good. There we go. Gotta jump over that, that's such a tough one. One of the more difficult obstacles for the most part. Okay, we're doing pretty good right now. Oh, there was a weird face in the background. Oh boy. Got it, we're doing pretty good, pretty good. What in the world is going on in the background? Oh, that's gold, shimmering off the light. Okay, I thought it was like something trying to get to my attention, or I don't know, it's just weird. Whoop. Okay, so I gotta remember that we can jump out of a spring, which is ridiculous when you think about it. I mean, double jumping in general <laughs> is pretty ridiculous. Okay, I need, oh, wait, what? Come on, that is such a difficult jump. No, I don't like it. Oh, no. Come on, let's try that again. Jump, jump, kick, got it. You have to hold the jump too, which is just difficult because that's just two inputs you sort of have to manage in the air. There ain't much time to do that, I'm sure you've noticed. Yeah, that like the face is like an obstacle illusion depending on what angle you see it. You sort of see the full thing or you see the two halves, which is pretty cool. I wish I could have more time 
to appreciate everything in the background. Gosh darn it. <laughs> I couldn't decide if I wanted to you know, slam down or double jump and being in the middle in that situation didn't help me too well, did it? Okay, let's try this again. This will be our last try. We're gonna get it this time. Everything will be perfect. Got it. Double jump for all of that. Kick that and jump over like this. Double jump again. Duck under the octo guy. And he's sort of like an octopus. I mean, he only had two tentacles, but he, they were all suction cup tentacles. I don't know. There we go. Got it. So I need to slam under that. Slam under that. We did pretty good, pretty good. Boom, kick it. Kick it again. Jump over. And then do our secondary jump. Yeah, this is the tough part coming up. Because I don't know how to get over this guy except for maybe double jumping. But it, yeah, you can also duck under him. Why? Why? No! Okay, so I missed out on a piece of gold, but I don't care. That was such a weird area because the camera angle really, really messes you up. I messed up on it a couple times, but right before the ending screen too, which makes it even worse. But uh, yeah, we only missed out one gold piece, but I swear I've gone to that piece and I went right through the enemy. It was so bizarre. Like the camera angle makes it sort of almost break the game in a weird way. So I don't really know what was up with that one. Like some of these camera angles seem rather ambitious for some weird reason. But anyways, we're just gonna keep moving. We have level 27, Bound by Law. Bound by Law. Like he said. So lots of books, I guess. Lots of jurisdiction, which is exciting, I suppose. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll just go for it, see what ends up happening. I'm sure everything will turn out just fine, right? Can only hope. It's the only thing we have right now, just hope. Okay. This one's pretty cool looking. We got the return of the moon. I mean, he might have been in some of the other levels and I just totally didn't notice. What in the world are you? You're just a little, a worm. Uh, you're a bookworm, oh, I get it. Okay. You're a little weird, like why can't Commander Video just run through this himself. <laughs> Except for the fact that if you see a worm with a saddle, you just, you can't take that situation for granted. Oh, and he does also have a double jump. Oh, hey friend, good to see you around again. Oh man, come on, come on, we can do this. So there was an evil like juror in the background. The moon is even afraid of him, he's hiding behind the horizon. See him, look, he actually is hiding back there. He's like, oh, I don't like that guy. I hate having a, What's it called, jury duty. Everybody does, Mr. Moon, everybody does. Even though it is a bit comforting to know that nobody can escape it, even the moon. There we go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Whoa, got it. You can just see him flying around in the background, I like that. No, did I really? Ah, I let go of the duck button too soon. It's tough because his jump isn't as high and that's just a lot to get used to. It's also just weird how he sort of screams. Okay, there we go. He's also a lot wider, so you sort of have like a longer time to wait before you're actually in the clear. Compared to Commander Video when he's standing up, he's rather thin, you know? Anyways, speaking of which, now we can duck under you. I'm hoping that you have the same thing every time. You do, but that was weird. I thought you were gonna jump farther back. So it's gonna be duck, kick, jump, kick is how we took him out last time. Or maybe it just, you know, cycles. Uh, so it's gonna be uh, duck, no, 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 because it was, yeah, kick every other time, basically, which is weird. Hopefully it's the same, because if not, how am I supposed to know, you know? Got under that and that. I'm gonna grab that gold bar. We'll do what we can with all that, but. So duck under that, jump, and then kick. Gotcha. See, now it's just a running section, which I can't complain about. Uh, okay, well, I missed out on some stuff. Don't care. Duck under you. I guess I'm expected to go up this way, and this way as well. It really likes us doing the jump after the spring thing. Okay, this camera angle is not beneficial for what we're trying to do. I don't know why it really likes the idea of us, and he also has like almost like a little bit of a glide. He definitely gets a good amount of air time when you double jump like that. Okay. Oh, checkpoint, don't jump over that. <laughs> that would've been awful. Oh, we got a super speed. I mean, for better or for worse, really. Oh, or maybe not. I guess, yeah, that's not the thing that has the super speed. That just launches us. The little blue force field thing is what the super speed is. Okay, whoa, books. 
I guess the evil juror is dropping those. Whoa, okay, now this feels like Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, well, I'm the, this is all doing it itself. Whoa, okay, so that, yeah, that's right. Kick and then jump. I just forgot he was here. <laughs> all right, well, let's try that again. I think I can figure that out pretty easily. It's just a matter of seeing it and then, you know, jumping. And then after that, he's gonna show up again and we kick him, hopefully, and then the level will be over. Want this one to be an easy one, that'd be great. Uh, duck under you, kick that, go, go, okay. So this part's easy, I can sit back and relax a little bit. How are you guys doing? I hope you're having a great day. I am too, or well, I hope you are, and I am, but uh, at the same time, it's a very difficult game. Jump over him, you dingus! Oh, come on! There we go, get out of here, you jerk. Now you're gonna kick. Man, they give you no time for that, it's crazy. So I got that, awesome. And I'm gonna kick that. Got it. I gotta double jump this one. I almost messed it up big time. All right, awesome! <laughs> I don't trust it! Oh my gosh! Gotcha. Okay. Oh, we made it! Holy cow, that was a little crazy towards the end, especially for my first try. I thought I was gonna mess it up. Maybe I'm getting a little bit better. Maybe it's starting to become a little bit more of my instincts. That'd be great. I'd be so happy to know if that's the case. Ah, oh, man. So, that was one, or two seven, so we got two eight, two nine, two ten, and then the boss, or maybe it's two eight, two nine, and then the boss, I can't remember. Anyways, uh, we're gonna keep moving. We got two eight. I, I pressed the back button. No, <laughs> darn it. Okay, for real this time. Parallel, peril. Yeah. Okay, well this is the level we're hopping into now. Parallel parallel. So I'm gonna guess there's like a lot of different places we could sort of uh, jump in between different lanes and stuff, so that'll be a blast. Okay, well, let's get started. As soon as this loading screen is ready. I am a little concerned about how long the loading screens are for this. I mean, I bought it digitally, and usually digital games have shorter loading screens than cartridge-based games, but I'm pretty sure this is a physical release as well, which is pretty cool. Okay, let's get to it. Uh, Jump for it. Oh, we got a little car. Let's say, like, this is new. I mean, okay, so it's not entirely new. We've had this before, but before it was like, you know, another car made out of food. This time it's just a little, I don't know, like a toy car even. Okay, I don't think I did that correctly, but hey, I tried. Okay, so our super speed is over. That's fine with me. And then we got that and that and some of this. Jump over this guy, it is bliss. I'm just, I don't know what I'm doing, I'm making a song. There we go, come on. Oh, I don't know if that'll get that gold bar, it won't. <laughs> I tried though, I tried. Okay. That's not bad right there. Okay, so we're doing pretty well to start this off. No, no, no getting taken out just yet. And it can happen at any point in time. No, like right there. Oh, that was such a weird perspective. Because I, I saw that it like it went down, but it was hard to tell exactly how, you know? And that's not good, okay. Sorry, if I, I had to fix something on my computer, I was not looking to be honest with you. Okay, so let's try this again. I mean, yeah, it's it's this we did pretty well, honestly. I was thinking, like, I keep thinking this is gonna be lane-based, so we're just gonna press a button that's gonna swap the lane, but no, you have to, like, manually do it yourself. Okay, that time at least we got the little rocket. That's fun. Dodge the eyeball. Okay. See, I like the, the, the visuals in this area. Like, I don't know, graphically it looks really pretty in some areas. Some areas are a little dull in the background, like this area, but I mean, I get I get what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be spooky and misty, so like, I'm not judging it by that. But I think a lot of the game's really pretty. Anyways, I'll try to get back over there. Okay, so I don't think we've gotten this far yet. Or maybe we have, I can't remember. Uh, Maybe we have, maybe we haven't, hard to tell. Yeah, we got right over here. So let's try not to mess this one up this time. All I gotta do is that, and then checkpoint right there. I always die right before the end of the level and right before the checkpoint. I missed our first gold brick there as well, but I don't care. VHS, no. I want, I'm, okay, I'm really curious about the VHS. I just wanna grab this for future use, even if we don't really do anything. What I don't like is that you have to miss the gold to get the, the VHS, but I guess you can die after that, so it's like, not the biggest deal in the world. Are you kidding me? One more time, one more time. If not, then I can always get it on my own time. Oh, that's such a pain in the booty. <laughs> Come on. 
Because it's like, it's such a weirdly specific jump to make. Just like that. Yeah, I got it. So that's our VHS. I don't know if you, like if I were to die, I would have to get it again. Guess we can find out sooner or later. Cause I'm probably gonna die. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, okay. Yep. All right, I understand. It's all risky. We're doing pretty decent though. There we go. Kick. Okay, we're doing pretty decent still. Got all these like little pillars. Okay, duck under him. I remembered, I remembered, so now you're gonna want me to kick you, huh? No! What are you doing changing the formula? Don't ever change the formula on me! Come on! <laughs> what was with the little disco ball in the bottom up there? Was the game saving? I suppose so, the VHS tape isn't here anymore. Oh my gosh, come on! So it's always just gonna be a guessing game of what he's gonna do because there's no way I have reactions that fast ever. Ah. Oh. That stinks, man, that really stinks. And I thought I had actually confidence in something. Oh well. At least we can make all this happen, right? Just float jump on down here. Got it. Kick that, get the jukebox. So we're, we're in ultra. Oh, that's such a weird one to do. So weird. Okay, I got over him that time, which means he's most likely gonna shield this time, yep. Okay, come on. He's jumping back up though, he's gonna jump. Sometimes he does have a bit of a towel, but it's so hard to really get ready for it, you know? Okay, so, wait, okay, so yeah, he shielded there. I almost got taken out, that would've been so upsetting. Oh my gosh, we did it, that's fantastic. So he does sort of have like, he'll do a certain thing or another, depending on you know what he's gonna do, but like when you're dodging and weaving everything else, it's almost impossible to really know. Okay. So we got a VHS. New retro episode available, so that's what the old school levels are, which is pretty cool, but we're not worrying about those today, we were worrying about 2-9. Whatever that's supposed to mean, we're gonna find out together, it might be a nightmare. That's for sure, I was right. It's not spooky because of the spookiness, it's spooky because of how mind-blowingly difficult it is. Good to keep in mind. <laughs> All right, well, it's fine. We're gonna do what we need to do today, and we're gonna get, get a win. We're gonna complete this world one way or another. That's all I wanna see. Okay, so. I don't know what a vestibule is, but let's hope it's not too bad, right? Okay, I almost got taken out right there. Oh, that's such a scary jump. Say that much. Not easy to make. Dodge the eyeballs. Got it. Can hit that rocket ship or not. Never mind. Doesn't matter too much. I was jumping. What was going on there? Oh, come on. Well, it gives me another chance to hit the rocket ship, I guess, but not really what I wanted to do. Okay. Wasn't really looking forward to having another shot at it. <laughs> come on, come on. Got it. I gotta say though, this is just like yet another really difficult game that's come out this year that I've played. I mean, we've had this, we've had Celeste, which was another crazy difficult indie game. Okay, uh, this is bizarre to me. I do not like this camera angle. Not one bit, okay, that's a little bit better. But uh, yeah, we played Celeste, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. We just finished 100%, we played in funky mode. But it was still a very difficult game. You still have to complete the levels, funky mode or not, so like, it was not easy, that's for sure. We played Kirby, which Kirby was very easy. <laughs> Except for the uh, ultimate choice, which we did do, but that was not that was not the easy part. Like, that was a pretty difficult part, in my opinion. Um, yeah, that's, that's a lot of the games we've played right now. And there's plenty more coming up that I'm sure are gonna be very difficult, so you just wait. Okay, got over all this stuff. Good, good, good. Oh, okay, I made it, I made it. I was not thinking I was gonna make that one. Sometimes a double jump can be a little giving on whether you land on that corner or not, you know? Okay, I'm moving. Oh, look, there's the juror from last time. He's he's an owl. He's like an owl man, it's sort of weird. Oh, okay, there was, see, that's another camera angle where honestly I had no clue if that, that block had anything under it. And maybe that's sort of the idea, is like, oh, you can never beat this level on the first try but I think it's a little silly, if you ask me. I don't know, that difficulty feels ever so slightly artificial. That's like, oh, you didn't lose because you know, you're know you bad or anything. Not to say that I'm not. I am very bad at this game. 
but like, oh, you didn't lose because you're bad or anything. It's just a matter of you couldn't see it. You would have to try at least more than once to not understand there's something in the way there or lack thereof in this situation, you know? That's sort of what's silly about it. Okay, got it. So I'm gonna go ahead and duck under you. Okay, there's a number of these owl jurors. Okay. Okay, ah, oh, I was trying to duck there, but I didn't know if I had to double jump to get onto the platform. Oh no. All right, so that time I swear he landed on me there. Whoa, whoa, okay, yep, that was good. So it makes a little like, you know, sword shing sound when he's going to at least throw the sword out, which is good, because that's the hardest to respond to one, in my opinion. All right, so I have to look out for him again, but for now though, <laughs> I'm just trying to survive. Oh, that's the end of the level, awesome. Okay, that one wasn't too bad. What's with the number three on the window there? I have no clue. We completed, that was really awesome. I'm so glad we got that one. Okay, so that's 2-9 done. So I don't know if the boss fight is now or if we have to complete 2-10 and then I can never remember. I mean, I've only had one chance to figure that out. So, oh no, this is it. Parliament of Owls. Okay, so the guys we saw in the background in the last level are our boss fight now. So we're taking those guys down, and they're gonna be like, ow, stop. And we're like, no. And then we win. <laughs> That's how it's gonna work. So I wonder how this boss fight will be. It looks like it's actually a runner level, unlike last time. Or maybe not, maybe not. Uh, The fat, what? I don't know. What is going on with this? You do not look happy, though. Uh, whoa. Um, I'm a little confused, I gotta be honest. Okay, he's just slamming the ground right now. I have to kick. Am I supposed to land on your mallet? Or maybe, oh, uh, okay, I did it. Do I have to press the button? No, checkpoint. Okay, we did it. Awesome. <laughs> I sort of get it now. Um, Jump over you. This guy sort of, he takes a second. Okay. I like the idea so far. Got it. Oh, I'm supposed to kick that, I'm a dingus. Okay, so every every character's mallet has sort of a different thing to it. Okay, I'm gonna guess we're gonna hit all of them like multiple times or something like that. They're sort of creepy looking, that's for sure. Jump over you. Careful of these books. So I don't actually have to worry about the mallet until the last strike. There's no way I can actually reach it in time. That's good to know. So right now, and then kick it, boom! That's another checkpoint for us. Okay, so now we got this angry lady with her spiked mallet, and I won't, oh, whoa, whoa, it goes right through that, that book. That's a weird eyeball. Anyways, luckily we get a checkpoint. The checkpoints are very courteous with the boss fights, which I really appreciate. Gosh darn it, what's wrong with me? <laughs> uh, let's try that one more time. And I'm guess, like I said, I'm gonna guess we gotta hit them all multiple times, just like for the, uh, the, the robot Santa. Get over you. So she has not swung once yet, she's very patient probably isn't so good for me. The problem is that I don't know what her weakness is gonna be with that mallet. Uh, whoa, oh, you gotta slam it. That's a hard detail to pick up on, but I get it. Okay, so this is a cool boss, but I like it. Also, I like the idea that they're all just on the floor on that desk, because where else, like they're just you know, all chilling out under there, like, oh, I'm gonna take a breather, you pop up. <laughs> like, where else would they be? Ah, oh, what did I, I, I press jump and kick at the same time. Come on, we can do this, we can do this. It's really simple, it's not as difficult as I'm making it look. She waggles her weird finger. Okay, jump over that. Double jump that, duck under. Okay, so I just gotta kick this, duck under, and then I gotta double jump over that, kick this. Okay, I did it. That was a little scary, was that it? No way! That was so easy! <laughs> That was easier than the first boss. What the world was that? I thought that was gonna be with one phase. I mean, hey, it was a cool boss, but that was just like crazy, crazy easy compared to everything we've gone through to get here. All right, so as you can see, we unlock the next world, which is Machine Land. So we're gonna be worrying about Machine Land. It might even be the last world of the game. Like it has the number three here in the center of the world. Maybe that actually means there's only like three worlds to explore. So we'll explore that one in the next episode of Runner 3. If you want to support the video, make sure you comment Spooky Zebra. So don't even watch to the end that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.